Ever wanted to play the iconic dino game, the one you encounter when you lose internet connection? Well, in this video, we are going to make that game hands-on. This game simulates the classic offline dino game. So, let's get started. For this project, we'll need an Arduino Uno board. 16 into 2 LCD display with I to C module. One small breadboard. One push button. Some jumper wires. A USB cable. A double battery holder. Two lithium ion batteries. Let's wire everything up. Take the breadboard and Arduino. Insert the push button on the breadboard. Connect one pin of the push button to digital pin 2 on Arduino. And connect the other pin to the GND pin on the Arduino. Now insert the I to C module in the 16 into 2 LCD display. Take male to female jumper wires and connect them in the module. Connect the GND pin of the LCD to GND on the Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of the LCD to 5V on the Arduino to power the LCD. Connect the SDA pin of the LCD to a 4 on the Arduino. This is the data line for communication. Finally connect the SCL pin of the LCD to A5 on the Arduino. This is the clock line for communication. Make sure to double check your connections with the circuit diagram. Now, download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino ID. We begin by including the necessary libraries. We use the liquid crystal underscore I to C library to control the LCD and the wire library for communication with the I to C module. Next. We initialize the LCD screen with an I to C address of 0 into 27 and set the dimensions to 16 columns and 2 rows. We define several constants to control pin assignments and sprite positions. These define things like button pins, terrain types, and the position of our hero on the screen. Next, we define the graphics for the hero and the terrain. These are binary representations of the hero and obstacles that we display on the LCD screen. The graphics array is created with the lcd.createCat function, which defines the custom characters used to represent the hero, terrain, and obstacles on the screen. These graphics will be displayed on the LCD using lcd.createCat, which maps each sprite to a custom character index. In the initialize graphics function, we create all the sprites and set the terrain to empty. The function prepares the LCD to display our game visuals by initializing the terrain arrays for the upper and lower parts of the screen. The game is controlled using a button connected to pin 2. In the setup function, we configure the button as an input and use an interrupt to trigger a jump when the button is pressed. Now let's dive into the main game loop in the loop function. Here, we handle the terrain, hero movement, and collision detection. The terrain shifts left, simulating the movement of obstacles towards the hero. We randomly generate new terrain blocks and decide whether they should be empty, solid, or contain obstacles like cacti. The draw hero function is used to update the hero's position on the screen. The hero moves across the lower and upper rows depending on whether it's running or jumping. We check for collisions when drawing the hero. If the hero encounters an obstacle, the game ends. Otherwise, the hero continues running and jumping. And that's it. Now, Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino UNO. Now click on the upload button. Power the Arduino directly from the batteries. Switch it on. And that's how our project works.
It's a simple game where pressing a button makes the dino jump and the score increases with each press. The game logic is controlled by reading the button state and updating the LCD display accordingly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.